Today I want to talk about how we quantify the risk of creative accounting using our governance, accounting and peer performance scores. But before we go on, I must remind you that under Hong Kong SFC regulations, we can't make recommendations and none of what follows should be taken to be investment advice. However, if you are considering making an investment in any company, think about the following. Creative accounting normally occurs when three things come together. First, the company is either growing slower or not as profitable as it needs to be to justify its current valuation. Secondly, companies that resort to creative accounting nearly always have debt. This causes them a problem because the bank has access to their management accounts and often tests for interest coverage ratios and debt to equity ratios. Moreover, banks are quite keen to shut companies down if they think they're in danger of losing money. This is why we have to test for accounting risk. Finally, someone, usually a dominant director or controlling shareholder, has to drive the decision to get creative with their accounts. This is why we test for governance. To us, good governance is all about creating value for long-term shareholders. Now, this can happen in many ways, but most often happens when management's incentives and motivations are aligned with shareholders. We seek to understand management's incentives and then just double check that the decisions that have actually been made are still aligned with shareholders. Accounting risk is all about materiality and the impact on the investment case if something's been inappropriately accounted for. Now, bear in mind that auditors are there to check that the accounts are legal, not to check that they're prudent, conservative or fair and reasonable. Our performance tests look at how a company is doing on an absolute basis and over time and then relative to its peers. To do this properly, we clean up the accounts and then use our proprietary Bucephalus classification system to see which companies it should be compared to. Each company is then scored and ranked to quantify the risk of creative accounting. This process highlights the companies to be investigated and shows which areas analysts should be looking at. However, just in case a company has a modest overall score, but some dubious issues, we also highlight extreme single factor issues. Our factors and groupings are not designed to come up with an automated buy or sell list. We do actually have a model portfolio for that. However, it is quite clear that overall companies with high scores perform badly and have a very high risk of blow up. If you'd like to know more, please visit our website or send us an email. Alternatively, subscribe to our channel if you'd like to keep up to date with summaries of our research. Thank you very much for your time.